In response to special requests made in the Wappler community, I have made this video to show you how to sort bootstrap cards. As an indication of what I have done to prepare the page to this stage, I will give you some background information. I created a Node.js site. Although this could be anything to your liking. I have just one single page that shows the image gallery. In the database, there is a table for the images. There is a field for the image ID, the image name, and the display order. Note that currently there is no value for the display order field. In the API, there is a folder for the images. Here, there is an action script to list the images. Worth mentioning is the sorting, which is based on the display order. Here I will create a second action called sort. The sort action is actually an update action. In this case it is a multi-update. To configure the update, choose the update step and click on update options. In the pop-up window, I choose the images table and remove the image file field. We need to only update the display order field. The condition is that the image ID field is the same as the image ID that is being presented. Don't forget to save the file. Moving on to App Connect, there is the server connect that connects to the API list action. The page has a container with two rows. One for the title and one for the images. The second row has repeat children with an expression of the image query. The column that contains an image card is set to a size of two calls and has a bottom margin of four. The card image is linked to the image path and the image file variable. The card body has had the vertical margins removed. The paragraph shows the card ID. Now for the serious stuff. For this example I have used the jQuery user interface. Please don't laugh. This was the easiest way to get the requested effect. I will work on a vanilla JavaScript version. If you subscribe, you will be updated when the time comes. The jQuery example does have source code. The problem is that it is useless if the sorted values have to be stored in a database. That is why I have written a plugin for Wappler that you can retrieve from the Wappler GitHub site. I will leave the link below, just like I will leave the link to the jQuery site below. Click on the add-on and select raw. Select and copy the code. In Wappler, go to Code View. At the bottom of the page, insert the copied code. Looking at the code, we see that the jQuery UI has been added. There is also mention of a drag area ID. This will be used on the row with a repeat area. There is a drag item class. This will be used on the card. Lastly, the drag count class will be used on the input field that keeps track of the card order. There is one vital adjustment to be made jQuery UI will not function on the slim version of jQuery. This must be the full version of jQuery. Now for a bit of Wappler magic. Select the repeat row. Click the add before button. In the pop-up choose generators and the bootstrap for form generator. In the generator dialog enter the server action API. Before entering a value in the populate field, it is important to choose multi-record first. Then enter the value for the populate field. There are many entries listed in the fields below. We only need the image ID and the display order fields. In other words, delete the rest. We do not need to see the values of the remaining field. 
Therefore I change the type to hidden. The form input fields need to be located inside the card. This is done by dragging and dropping. There is no need for the generated repeat region, we already have one. Yes, I delete it. Nest the repeat row inside the form. Change the ID of the repeat row to, drag area. Add a class of, drag item to the card. The input field for display order needs a class of drag count. For this I go to the DOM panel. The class field is a bit hard to find. Please bear with me. Ah yes, there it is. Enter drag count and we are done. Maybe not. We still need a button to save the reordered images. I'll place it after the drag area. Give the button a bit of styling. Set the type to submit if the button is located inside the form. Change the text to suit. We have finally reached the testing stage. I'll leave you wondering in all while sparing you my voice in the background. Just one last demonstration. For this, I will unhide the display order so that you can see what happens in the background. I hope this video has met your expectations, Mr. Neil. I hope that it has been of use. As usual, I will leave important links below. My name is Ben Plesier. Thank you for watching.